A routine traffic stop in Port St. Lucie leads to the arrest of a local rapper, Pierre Delintz, known as Jack Boy. You may remember him from a shooting in Tradition last December where his brother was shot. Well, this latest arrest is bringing new information about that shooting to light. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Uberman shares those details with us. According to the affidavit, officers saw Jack Boy on a FaceTime call as he was driving last night. When they pulled him over in Tradition, they found that his license was suspended and spotted marijuana in the car. But they also found a loaded Glock that had an extended magazine with more than 30 extra rounds that he was not allowed to have as a convicted felon, who also had an active protection order from a prior case against him. Pierre Delintz, also known as Jack Boy, was arrested following a routine traffic stop in Port St. Lucie's Tradition Community Tuesday night. During the stop, officers found marijuana and a loaded Glock 19 with another 32 rounds in the magazine attached to it, which he cannot have as a convicted felon. Definitely had ideas to use it. What for? You know, we might not never know. Could just be for protection of himself. But this arrest is also bringing to light new information about a drive-by shooting last December in Tradition. Police now releasing this ring doorbell video from the incident. Jack Boy's brother was shot and injured, although Chief Richard Del Toro now believes Jack Boy was the actual intended target, and we're told it was all gang-related violence. Tuesday's traffic stop was done by the department's gang intelligence unit, which keeps tabs on multiple gang members in Port St. Lucie. Zero tolerance uh, to that type of activity. That's not what Port St. Lucie is all about. That's never what Port St. Lucie is going to be about. Chief Del Toro says following that tradition shooting in December, they added more police presence in the area, and it seems to be making a difference. Those corridors tend to have people traveling through the city looking to commit crimes, so we're very vigilant out in that area, putting our resources where we've been having problems. You never know who you're stopping or what, what it could lead to. Multiple arrests were made in that December shooting, and fortunately nobody was killed. DeLintz is being held in the St. Lucie County Jail without bond. In Port St. Lucie, Don Huberman, CBS 12 News.